you know, uh, somebody falls at the last second, and that's what leads to somebody winning. And that's what you want out of heavyweight Taekwondo, not just those huge points, but correct, uh, intelligent plays at big moments. And like we said before, that final literally came down to two exchanges. That's not only uncommonly rare, but it's in keeping with what we saw yesterday and today. 90% of these semis could have just as easily been finals and vice versa. Just quality throughout every single match. It's been a wonderful tournament. Yeah, as you see, a wonderful Ladies tournament. And, and a wonderful Finals moment for the crowd. The and the action is not done yet. We've been treated to some top class taekwondo class. and yet more to follow. Two in more finals room. remain. From and here is the penultimate one. Well, Matea Jelic from Croatia going against Ruth Bagby. Forget the, forget the pedigree, forget the results. What a match this promises to be. Yeah, exactly. Uh, both players just really dominant performances yesterday. And it, it's again another one of those matchups of uh, are we going to go with finesse or strength here? And it's uh, Matea is the definition of that new style Taekwondo finesse. Always impressive, always creative, super intelligent. Ruth is always ruthless, and here she comes into this one. Juan Antonio Ramos, the coach, following her down the steps, and it steps to success that Ruth Bagby has taken. And in terms of old school taekwondo, which I'm a, an old school fan of, I know you, you like to mix up the two of them. Ruth Bagby, she's got absolutely everything in that repertoire. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as I'm sure we will see, like we saw yesterday, those double kicks are going to come out. She's fully capable of doing the new style Taekwondo, but every now and then she peppers in that old style, and that's what makes her so exciting and so dynamic in the ring. As you see, exciting and dynamic. Also not Leslie. Yes, Leslie Chong has been busy. Also, Huang Cholo, not the center referee on this occasion. Conrad Jenkins in charge of proceedings. And what can we do about this one? On the way through, Matea Jelic and Ruth Bagby, the taller of the two, the big Croat, the lengthy limbs, the footwork style straight away from Ruth Bagby. Good tactics, yeah. perhaps, in this one? Absolutely. It's uh, just like the match between the Serbian and Chinese and, and China player that we saw uh, three or four matches ago that, again, you're dealing with a taller player. Oh, see, there's the double already coming out. She wants to create the opportunities by making the Croatian miss on that first one with the footwork and then punishing her with the double kick. Yeah, as you say, trying to make the punishment count with the double. Ruth Bagby on the counter, but Matea Jelic with the big score on the board big back leg boot from Ruth doesn't score though good cover from the Croatian Matea Jelic who's holding the center of the mat can she grab a gold medal here at the Grand Prix final in Moscow plenty of time left in this one Bagby circling looking for opportunities Back kick round the corner, close from Matea. Yep, that's a good attempt. We're getting we're getting our foot on that chest guard. As you can see, those flashing lights, if you're new to Taekwondo, means that we're not quite powerful enough on those kicks, but we're connecting those sensors. So might, maybe not quite powerful enough, maybe a little change in angle, and those are all points. Yeah, as you say, a change in angle will equal a change in fortune. Juan Antonio Ramos in one corner, Tony Thomas in the other. The coach cam catching the emotions of both coaches trying to give out information crucial to the progress here the step up double from ruth bagby a swing and a miss for the athlete in red looking for opportunities now matea jelic on the cusp can she create another gam john not this time ruth bagby showing that formidable physicality bringing herself back to the center as we go to the last 10. yeah i like the strategy here she's alternating like we said between the new and the old school she's throwing a couple of those downward angle front legs finishing with something super physical like that punch right there that's what keeps her in matches 
Doesn't matter how much finesse you've got, if you've got somebody throwing a, throwing a massive punch into your chest every 15 seconds, it's exhausting. As you say, sometimes this is going to sound a bit ridiculous, but you'll know what I mean. Sometimes it's the ones that don't score that, that can still make a difference. A big back kick or a big punch, it reminds the opponent of what they've got to deal with. Yeah, there's nothing worse than one of those where there's 15 seconds left. You eat a punch that doesn't score, doesn't even necessarily make any noise, but it knocks all the wind out of you, and you have to bounce for 15 seconds, not breathing and pretending that you're absolutely Everyone fine. Everyone loves this. This yeah. is no problem to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, let's have a little listen into the coaching conversations. Well, Ruth Bagby nodding in appreciation, trying to make sure that she can block those kicks or annul them just to make sure that the headshot opportunity doesn't catch her out. So the blocks from backbeat so important. It's not been all about that intense pace, but here she comes, tries with the big headshot. She'll take the gam jump for falling. That's a rough deduction, but it's, it's a deduction on a big risk that frankly you have to take at this point. That double kick uh, rewards her so frequently. So at the end of the day, like we said, if you're going to go, if you're going to get two points and give up one, that's still better than a zero exchange. So we've got to start creating opportunities, which is exactly what Ruth is trying to do right now. Speaking of opportunities, does well not to fall over after that reverse turning kick there. Bagby, but she's been made to work here. Matea Jelic comes in with another super score. Yep, fantastic. Uh, Excellent finesse there. Uh, couldn't quite get her out of bounds to get the deduction. Uh, she'll be happy to go ahead and take those points instead, though. Really has done a fantastic job in this situation, keeping Ruth a little bit on her back foot. Uh, if you can keep that power athlete from getting that solid base and being able to take off and explode the kicks, you essentially take away their primary weapon, which is exactly what the Croatian's doing right now. It's Matea's crushing it so far in this round. As you see, starting where she left off, and of course the black belt now slipping down around the waist of Ruth Bagby. Wonder if the referee will have to step in to adjust that. But the adjustment will be needed to make, yes indeed, not just to the wardrobe, but to the strategy as well, because circling against a taller fighter hasn't quite worked for Ruth Bagby at the moment. Yeah, at some point you have to make that decision to be committed and go in, and it's going to be a risk every time, but at the end of the day, you don't want to lose the match walking away going, oh, I, I, I should have tried that. Uh, Ruth is a very brave athlete, so I'm, I'm not worried. It's just a matter of time of when she starts going. And speaking of time, back kick round the corner as we creep towards the last 30 seconds. So Ruth Bagby trying to be more creative. Matea Jelic in imperious form, standing strong and standing tall in the center. And we'll be happy to get that little salvation of the clinch for just a few moments. 20 seconds left, back leg boot there from the Croatian. Step up double from Bagby. There, yeah, that, there's that exactly what she's looking for. Matea's done a great job of the second that double starts to happen, she either just doesn't kick or takes a half step back and that completely nullifies what Ruth's trying to do. Less than 10 seconds to go. Matea in complete control of this match. Ruth's starting to actually look a little bit fatigued, maybe, maybe taking a toll from yesterday. Huge punch, uh, not even a single light from the judges, so I'm, hopefully that woke him up. Ruth staying in it with taking that easy defense on the end, taking advantage of Matea just reaching a little bit too far. Uh, Olympic champion Sheikh Alassise cheering on, cheering on his teammate. Uh, that's that's something you always like to see when you have when you're out in a foreign country all by yourself and you've got that one person you see every day in the gym standing there screaming his brains out. So that's true. As you see, the familiar face and indeed the familiar support, and it gives them something to cheer about back in Abidjan by way of Cote d'Ivoire, of course. That two points at the end, just keeping Ruth Bagby in this conversation here because Matea Jelic, well, a 5-0 lead cut to a three-point game now. Let's have a listen. Don't know that there's any more active coach whenever it comes to coaching. Not only active talking during the round, but he not, he'll tell you what he wants you to do, and then he'll show you. An active coaching lesson, as you say, 
painting by numbers, but who can paint the picture in this one? At the moment, Matija Jelic had the momentum. Ruth Bagby stepping up, though. Picking up that exact double kick she's been looking for, and an immediate follow with that punch, tied 5-5. Only 15 seconds into this third round. It's the gold medal match, right out of minute 45 left. It, it's anybody's ball game. And that was the fourth time she's tried that punch and finally gets the reward. Yep, exactly. It's sometimes you just got to wake up the judges. It's been that way all weekend. We're looking for options now. But Bagby going again with the punch in the inside. No love, no lights, and no change on the board. Five all in an engrossing final. You can see both coaches looking inside. Fantastic move by Ruth. If Matea wants to stay in this, she's got to go back to what she was doing. She took her foot off the gas, and right now she's letting Ruth dictate things. She's got to use that finesse to her advantage. She duly does, up. walks in with a back leg turning kick, eats a head kick, going in, in response. Yep, picks up two points, but immediately gives up that head shot to Ruth. Now Ruth, like we said, she can not only do the finesse stuff, but she also does the power stuff, and it's that alternating that makes her so deadly. One minute to go in this final. That punch could help, but no love from the judges on this occasion. 9-7, two points of a difference. Both of them shipping plenty of power and punishment in this one. Matea Jelic of Croatia had the lead, she had the momentum. Ruth Bagby pulls it back. The Croatians again imploring the judges for a point for the punch. 45 in this one. A wonderful attempt at that turn. I was literally about to say, if she's smart, she's going to switch to the close stance, try and nullify that double kick. But at the end of the day, when your strength, fantastic punch by Ruth. That might have iced the match. 30 seconds to go in this. Juan Antonio Ramos looking for the gam jump as well. It's duly delivered for the raised knee. But will it be the raised hands for the athlete in red? Ruth Bagby against Matea Jelic. Concentration required. Well, Matea Jelic eats another one on the way through there. 13 to 7 now. Now all she has to do, now all Ruth has to do is keep swinging those bats. Because fundamentally, if you can break somebody's spirit, fantastic oper taking of that opportunity by Matea. 13-10. 14 seconds to go. Let's see if Matea can put something together and take these last couple of points. Well, she went for the big headshot. She got it. She cuts it to three. Ruth Bagby steps out with the double. Is she going to step out with the gold medal as well? Conrad Jenkins delivering the gam, John. Four points of a difference. All to fight for now. Bagby on the defensive. The back kick attempt is required for Matea Jelic. The gam, John given. Tony Ramos. Tony Thomas and Juan Antonio Ramos both encouraging their charges. Another gam jump will be given. Two seconds left. The destination of gold hanging in the balance. Sheikh Salasisi can barely believe it. Ruth Bagby steps out. She'll take another gam jump. There's still some time left. 15 14. The clock ticks down. Matea Jelic, can she get a punch? Can she get a gam jump? Who's going to get the gold? In the end, the referee separates them. And the only thing that separates them was the desire, the quality, and indeed the delivery. Ruth Bagby finds the answer. Absolute exhaustion, but absolute elation. Yeah, even Ramos is over there losing his mind. It's That was a well-deserved win. At the end of that second round, I would have put my money on Matea. I thought she was in complete control of this, but that's why Ruth's a world champion. She walked back to her coach, she talked with Ramos, they came to a consensus on what the best strategy was. She went in and she executed, and that's Grand Prix gold medalist Taekwondo. Ruth Bagby, a bit class. Fantastic performance. Grand Prix final champion in the penultimate matchup, and what a match it was. Unbelievable entertainment delivering all the way to the end, Stephen. I know you told me that uh, as commentators, we got to be careful not to use uh, alliteration of things like wonderful and amazing so often, but good lord, what this else can day. We see? I know. I, at the end of the day, I keep thinking that, all right, like that's probably the peak of how these matches are going to go, and then the next match tops the last one. And frankly, we've saved the probably the best two matches for last. That was an amazing one. A clutch head kick. Ramos, obviously and rightfully excited. But if we're coming down to it, it's the moment we've probably all been waiting for. The matchup in the men's minus 68 kilograms.